As a kid, my dream was to make it as a player. And then I tried to find a way to make it to the majors without knowing that path would get me here. Soy Billy Russo, el manager de comunicaciones en español de los White Sox y el intérprete del equipo. My principal responsibility is just to translate the players' needs. I also do broadcast the games in Spanish, radio. Desde pequeño, mi interés fue en, en, o sea, en deporte en general, especialmente en el béisbol. Mis papás una gran influencia en eso porque los dos son fanáticos de, del béisbol y pues el béisbol es el deporte principal en Venezuela. Diría que fue como alrededor de los cuatro o cinco años que mis papás me inscribieron en una escuela de béisbol en Caracas, Venezuela. Y a partir de ahí comencé a jugar béisbol hasta que tuve 17, 18 años. Y ahí pues sabía que no, que no había chance de ser jugador profesional y entonces pues eh, me dediqué a, a una carrera a comunicación social, a periodista, que me podía mantener ligado al, al deporte. Cuando yo vine aquí a, a Estados Unidos, especialmente a Chicago, en el 2008, ya yo estaba, ya yo era periodista y trabajaba en un periódico en Venezuela cubriendo béisbol. Mientras estudiaba inglés aquí en Chicago, también tenía la oportunidad de venir a los juegos de los White Sox o de los Cubs para cubrir a los jugadores latinos, jugadores venezolanos. That was how it all started. By that time, the people on the team already knew me. They knew my relationship with the players, especially with the Latino players, how I kind of blend with the clubhouse culture. That's very important. It was an easy choice for my side. Oh, oh that's me. Yeah. <laughs> When I'm here in Chicago, the first thing that I do is just checking on the guys. If they need anything, is everything okay with them? If we have interviews, just remind them, hey, you remember that we have this interview at this time? Then I just help the process of the interview with translations. That's it. Back to the office. Came back, starting to get ready for the game. I wrote down the lineups. Uh, I'm gonna start looking for some stats. After that, probably gonna eat something in the clubhouse. And then around 6.45, gonna be up to the broadcast booth and 7.10 is a uh, play ball. Esta campaña, bueno, y ahora, obviamente, sin la presencia de eh, Andrew Benintendi, quien durante esta campaña había sido el bateador más consistente y productivo para ellos. I'm the color analyst, commenting uh, every play, you know, if there's anything that I need to add to why a specific play happened or what happened in that play. My parents listen to my broadcast. Every night, like, if I do something wrong, they, they are the first one to let me know. That's something uh, a special connection to because they live in Venezuela. Being in the radio booth where they can listen to my description of the game, that's something that fills them with joy. Being able to do that and enjoy this and being here is, is special. Por una, su récord vuelve a 500, 51 victorias y 51 derrotas para el conjunto de los Medias Blancas de Chicago. Then once the game is over, I have to run downstairs to again be there if the media wants to talk with any other players or single players, then translate for them. It feels good. Definitely uh, made me feel uh, excited and it's something that definitely uh, puts your, your confidence level. Para mí Billy, ¿sabes? no solamente es el traductor que, ¿sabes? que nos, nos traduce a nosotros los latinos cuando tenemos una entrevista, sino es una persona especial. Le tengo tremendo aprecio y tremendo respeto. I just like to be around the people here. I just like to you know, sit here or sit in the dugout or in the booth, and look at the field, just look at the action. That was what I was doing when I was what, four years old, but I was doing it from the TV. You know, I have the chance to be here, to be inside. Every day is a new opportunity. Every day is a new chance to do something new and to experience what I love to do.